We begin with preliminary findings from investigations into yesterday's big rig accident at Jurong Shipyard. Sam Corp Marine says the rig tilted because of a failed braking system on one of its movable legs. Three of the 89 workers involved in the accident remain in hospital with minor injuries. Acting Manpower Minister Tan Chuan Jin took a tour at the accident site at Jurong Shipyard this afternoon to see firsthand the extent of the damage. Well, the shipyard has uh, assessed the situation and they feel that the structure is stable as it is right now. Um, but be that as it may, I mean, they still have sealed off the area so that in case anything untowards happen, there should be no cause of injuries to anyone else in the area. So the priority right now is to take stock how exactly to rectify the physical situation on the ground and uh, importantly to also understand what the, where exactly the system not work as, uh, as it's supposed to. According to Samcorp Marine from last Saturday, low tests were being carried out on the partially constructed rig. Before the incident happened, the legs of the rig were lodged firmly some three metres in the seabed and were able to take on the load testing. However, on Monday morning, the jacking unit of the forward leg slipped, causing the hull and the legs to tilt forward. Now, as you can see behind me, the leg of the rig is slanted at an angle of 17 degrees. And the next course of action for Semcorp Marine is to get it in an upright position so as to find out the root cause of the problem. Now, this is to ensure that similar occurrences do not happen in the future. The company is also focusing on helping the affected workers. We have set up a hotline for them to assess professional psychiatrists uh, uh, services and we also engage the same service for group discussion and also for individual counselling for those who are still in the uh, hospital. The Manpower Ministry has stressed that the stop work order would remain until it's assured that the site is safe for workers to go back to work.